Hello everyone, welcome to the Packet Tracer Activity 9.2.1 from CCMP Encore course. This activity is about implementing OSPF version 2 or for IB version 4. So when you see version 2, it means that it's IB version 4 and MLT area networks. Okay, so let's check out the background. So as you can see here in this activity, we have a network which is already connected. Our job is only to configure and enable OSPA version 2, then verify connectivity and examine the operation of multi-area OSPA version 2. So here we have three areas. The first area is area 0 and then we have area 1 and here we have area 2. Okay, so let's get started and then let's start uh, con the configurations. First, we are going to configure OSPF version 2 and router 1. So this is router 1 and as you can see here, this router has two areas. The first one is in area 1, which has two LANs, this, one, this number 1 and this number 2. And the second area is area 0, which has this network here inside this area. Okay, so let's configure this. Remember, when you are dealing with OSPF, you have to give um, an ID for the router and then you have to advertise the networks. Of course, after enabling the OSPF with the OSPF process. Okay, so let's do this. And here we are going to have a router OSPF. And it's given here the process ID is 1. And the router ID we have here 1.1.1.1. After this, now we are going to advertise the networks. Remember, we need the network address and we need the wildcard. And here we have here, this is the network interface. So we have to find the network address for this network. So first network and then 10.1. Point one point zero with wild with the wild card zero 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 two hundred fifty five and of course as you can see here area one if you don't know how can we calculate the wild card or the network address please I recommend you to see the previous video okay so this is network number one now we are going to advertise network number two which is this one here in area one also and it's going to be 10.1.2.0 with wildcard 000255, and of course it's area 1. Okay, and now we need to advertise, as you can see here we have a log message. And here we are going to advertise this network with the area 0. Okay, so we have done with router 1. Let's move forward and then we are, we already did this and now we are going to configure OSPF version 2 on R2 and R3. We are going to repeat the same process but with different, um, like the same OSPF ID but different router ID and different network in the advertisement. So let's do this with now router 2. Again enable, configure terminal of course and here router OSPF 1 and here we have router ID 2.2.2.2 and then we need to advertise the networks. Here we have three networks in this area or actually we have three three networks. This is the first one here, second one here, third one here. All of them are in area zero. Okay, so that's all with router two. Let's do the configuration on router three.
Okay, as you can see here, my completion is 100. So that's okay. So let's now start to verify connectivity to each of the OSPF areas. So from R1 being each of the following remote devices in area 0 and area 2. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, as you can see this one is okay and let's check the second one here okay so what else let's review some show or to verify the OSPF in the network so the first command here we have show IP protocols this command as you can see here it's going to show us information about the OSPF as you can see here we have router ID or OSPF ID and here we have the network of this area which is three zeros that has been advertised and here of course we have the gateway and we have distances so what we need to get from this here for example the router id is this one ospf id is here and here if you would like to check all the networks are advertised or not okay so this is the first one show ip route this is about routing protocol so as you can see here we have here ospf And this is directly connected networks. Here also we have some information about the OSPF protocol. However, so I recommend you to practice yourself with this one and this one of course this one and this one also when you would like to check the neighbors so you will see here we have router id 111 and this is the address of it and this is on the interface here is also we have 333 and this is here with the interface serial 01 with this ip address okay so that's all with here now we let's go let's start to answer these questions here so which routers are or which router or routers actually are internal router so here as you can see the internal router is r2 and which routers are backbone router and so here since they are connecting to so r2 is definitely and since they are connecting to R2, so R1 and R3, so here we have R1, R2 and R3 are all backbone routers because they are connecting to I area 0. And which routers, here in 3, which router or routers are border or area border router? Here we have of course R1 and R3 because they are connecting in the border with another area. And for question number four, which router are autonomous system routers? So here, actually, we have all of them are active interfaces. So here we don't have any autonomous system routers. And in five, which router are generating type one LSA? And here in this topology, we have all routers um, generate type one LSA. And which routers, and question number six, which routers are generating type 2 LSA? Of course, so here there are hidden routers here, as you can see, these two routers here, and these two routers here, and these two routers here, they are generating type 2 LSA, because it's in, inside the area itself. Which routers are generating type 3 LSA? These two routers, because they are in the border, so they have to generate information between the areas. 
which routers are generating type 4 and 5 LSA. So since here we don't have um, ASPR router or ASBR routers, so in this case we don't have this type of messages. That we don't have type 4 or type 5 because these messages are generated by ASBR routers. And how many inter-area routers in question number 9 does each router have? Actual, uh, this router, router 2, has only one area. Router 1 and router 3, they have two areas. And then why would there usually be an ASBR in this type of network? So this one, we need this type of router when we are connecting to an external routing domain. So we are connecting to an external um, like um, domain. So this why is will be in ASBR. And of course, when we have ASBR, we will have type 4 and type 5. So that's all for this video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.